Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have some polishes to share with you from Glisten and Glow. It's their Scarlet's Desert Skies collection and this is a six piece, six piece collection. It is limited edition. Um, it's already out, it's on the website and it's still actually available for purchase. So um, if you guys are interested in these. But the inspiration behind this, there was a customer um, and her seven-year-old granddaughter, Scarlett. So in January of 2023, um, Scarlett and her grandmother reached out to Jill, the maker of Glisten and Glow, and said how much they loved one of the PPU polishes called Rainbow Bridge, which I don't think I actually have. But they had asked Jill, who is the maker, um, if they could make an entire collection that reflected the Arizona sky um, at from each time of the day. So this is where this this collection came into place. So they all have the same type of jelly formula and rainbow iridescent flakies, which are absolutely stunning. You'll see coming right up. So here we go. Okay, so first up we have High Noon. So these are all gonna have the same exact exact uh, descriptions, except obviously the color is going to change. So I'll just start off with saying High Noon is a bright blue jelly polish loaded with rainbow iridescent flakes and a touch of hollow. So all of them have a touch of hollow and all of them have rainbow iridescent flakes. Oh my goodness, I am so obsessed with this collection. Now, these jellies are are pretty opaque and <laughs> like you can see here on the second coat I pretty much got you know full coverage I mean mind you if you do have longer nails you're probably gonna want to go in for a third coat and maybe see a little bit of nail line like depending on how prominent your your um your smile line or you know your free edge is but even so like these are the kinds of jellies that I appreciate they're still super squishy but still so opaque Pictured are two coats of high noon with a glossy top coat. Moving on to the next polish. This is called Afternoon, and this is the light green jelly of the collection. So again, uh, rainbow iridescent flakies and a touch of hollow. This built up beautifully in two coats for me. All of them actually two coats, except for the, the yellow polish, I believe. Um, but we'll get to that towards the end. Oh my goodness, just amazing formula as always. Glisten and Glow always has an amazing formula with, with the polishes. They go on butter, buttery smooth. I feel like in this polish, in like, well, this specific shade, that you can really see and appreciate those rainbow iridescent flakes. I mean, at least in my opinion, I feel like they're more like pastel rainbowy in this green base. You can see my starburst in the back. <laughs> I was like snacking while I was swatching. But look at, do you see that? That zoom in and that touch of hollow in all of these polishes just look so pretty. I love it. Pictured are two coats of afternoon with a glossy top coat. Next up is evening and this is the bright pink jelly of the bunch. So again, rainbow iridescent flakes and a touch of hollow. And thinking about it, maybe I should have gone like in order, like <laughs> from the descriptions, but I never go in order of anything. There's no specific order for any of these, like for any of my videos with polishes, but um, just an FYI. But look at this. Look at that second coat, how beautifully it built up. It still looks very squishy, but still has that opacity. This pink polish is gorgeous, stunning. I don't know what it is with pink, man, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the pink polishes this year specifically, or maybe like the past few months or so. Pictured are two coats of evening with a glossy top coat. Next up is midnight. Sorry about all the shaking, guys. I'll be better about editing those parts out, but those are my crazy wild kids jumping in the background as always. But this is midnight. This is the bright purple jelly. And again, rainbow iridescent flakes and the touch of hollow. This one is gorgeous. It almost reminds me of a blurple um, at like some angles. But again, it builds up beautifully in two coats. Longer nails, I think with all of these, I didn't wait for that to dry. That's why it's a little like tacky. But longer nails, I think... Um, I think like three coats will be good for you. Again, like I mentioned before, depends on your nail line and your, you know, how how prominent that is. But with the flakies and the touch of hollow, that's really going to aid in covering up that that line. 
And I didn't need any type of glitter smoother for any of these polishes. Just a nice thick glossy top coat is going to be good for you. So picture our two coats of Midnight with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have the orange of the bunch. And this one is called Sunset. Well, it's not really orange. It's coral. <laughs> it's a bright coral. So again, the rainbow iridescent flakes and a touch of hollow. Hmm, but I don't know. Actually looking at this now, is it really coral? Or is it orange? The description says coral, but I think it's orange. And even looking at the bottle right now, it's giving me orange vibes. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. But again, built up beautifully in two coats. I think what I love most about this entire collection is one, the all of the polishes are really bright, which I appreciate. This is going to be perfect for going into the summer and two the touch of hollow in all of them give these jellies like just a little extra something it's more than just your regular like jelly polish it really makes it sparkly and fun for the summertime pictured our two coats of sunset with a glossy top coat now moving on to the last polish of the collection this one is called sunrise and this is the bright sunshine yellow of the bunch and again loaded with the rainbow iridescent flakies and the touch of hollow i think this one was probably the least favorite out of all of the polishes for me i mean looking at it now like on this live swatch i think the color of yellow is gorgeous but in person i just didn't like how it looked on me personally i think because i'm too much of a warm tone or i have warm undertones it just wasn't vibing with me but if you love yellows or, you know, if you love how yellows look on you, this is going to be great. But yes, this is almost kind of like literally melted butter. Like, you know, the melted butter that you use when you're eating lobster or seafood. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. I don't know if that sounds gross to some of you, but I'm not trying to be gross. It's just, it's such a bright yellow. And I was just trying to move it around to see like, maybe if I had it in different types of lighting, I'd enjoy it more, but no. So pictured our two coats of Sunrise with a glossy top coat. And that wraps up the six piece collection from Glisten and Glow called Scarlet's Desert Skies. Again, this is limited edition. Um, it is currently available on the website for purchase. I don't know how much longer it will be available for. I'm assuming until maybe product runs out. But I really, really did enjoy this entire collection. I mean, even the yellow, like even though it wasn't my favorite, like looking at the photo, the swatch photo here, it does look good. Like it does look good. It's just not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? But um, I think these polishes are gorgeous for them to have such an amazing formula for being jellies. Like that's even like another plus in the book for me. The brightness, they're perfect for summertime. Um, I think the best part of these, at least for me, because I love my kitchen sink type of polishes, um, they have different components. So you have the iridescent flakes, right? And then you have the touch of hollow. So I appreciate all of that. But um, I'm not going to choose a favorite because I did enjoy all of them. <sighs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I will pick a favorite. I'm going to pick a favorite. And I don't know if this is going to come to a surprise for any of you if you watched like my most recent videos but it's going to be evening which is the bright pink jelly and like i've mentioned before i've never really been a big pink polish fan but the past like few months like few months i've been heavily enjoying pink polishes so i think it's fun it's bright it's it's gonna work out perfect for spring and summer so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you plan on picking any of these up and i will see you in my next one